what's up, Dirty Cones. Uh, it's election day. Cody is exhausted. Uh, he's like, dude, I'm exhausted. I think he's feeling what all of us are feeling right now. I voted. I don't feel any better. I don't know if I'm telling you that to discourage you or let you know that it's okay. I don't know if there's an answer. I mean, we'll have an answer very soon. It just, uh, oh, I don't know. I think it'd be good to just get this over with. <laughs> it sounds like a horrible way to describe the country, but I don't know. It's, it's been a good day. I spoke this morning at the AFA Wounded Warrior Combat Breakfast with the uh, Chamber of Commerce Extravaganza. Uh, it was it was pretty awesome. I um, met a lot of nice people. Um, got to see uh, Augie and his doggy, his beautiful family, and uh, I got to see Augie and Hannah and uh, Valhalla, Kaya being there with Cody and I, it was like, it was pretty good, and um, it was nice, it was, I spoke on service. I think, it, I think it went pretty good. Uh, there were a couple of um, was in a pause here and there, but uh, I think that I was able to, to make it pretty Yeah, it went, it went good. I mean, it wasn't, you know, <laughs> uh, Oscar winning or anything, but it came from the heart. It was a good speech. And, uh, man, I even defended it. I mean, I just said, I said, you know, we we do our service so that people can be free, but we don't have the right to dictate how they are free. You know, I'm not a fan of someone who wants to burn a flag, but somebody wants to burn a flag. Somebody wants to burn a flag, like it's not. That's freedom, you know. And uh, you know, people are like, ah, you know, hey, that's what service is. You know, when people say thank you for your service. I say thank you for enjoying your freedom. And I think that that's, that's what it's all about. It's that God-given American constitutional right to be however you like. But we would hope that you would lean towards goodness, kindness, compassion, uh, good qualities versus selfishness. And, uh, and, and someone pointed out to me, and, and I think... Uh, probably aren't too many older people listening to this. Uh, my demographic seems to be a lot younger than me. Um, but they were saying that millennials, it's not that they don't care. They just want to know why. And chuck me into a millennial because I always want to know the why. I mean, it's good to question, you know, why are we doing this? Does this make sense? Well, we've always done it this way. It's not a good answer. So, I want to try harder to make my answers have better whys, um, one of the reasons I do things have better whys, and once you know why, or you know the why, <clears throat> you'll overcome any how. John O'Leary. Uh, I was just listening to that, it's funny, because it, I wasn't even going to go towards what he said, but it's funny that my thought just kind of, um, it's in dog. It's life. It's everything. Once you know the why, you'll overcome anyhow. And if you can do that, bam, ain't nothing gonna stand your way. Willpower, belief, hope, all these things. I, mean, I don't think summarizing what's one word that will summarize what we need to be. There is no one word. 
my thesis. How can a PJ do everything? Why? Bam. Because I'm a PJ. Actually, uh, during my speech, I practiced it and, and I had some note cards with, uh, which were mostly, I was quoting the Gettysburg Address, but um, they had a couple of points that I wanted to hit. And I think I hit most of my points. 75% of my, my thing was rehearsed. Not rehearsed, but uh, I kind of knew what I was going to do. And then 25% just kind of came out. And I and I started off with that the, uh, when I started off with, with the part of what I improv was I said that the, uh, the Wounded Warriors, the Air Force Wounded Warriors to me in the beginning, it, it felt kind of like a support group. So I was like, hi, my name's Mike. I'm an airman, <laughs> you know, like I'm an alcoholic, and everybody got, and I, I was like, that was pretty good, um, it was a good, I talked about the service from my, my family since the Revolutionary War, uh, to now, I talked about how, you know, if you're in a family, you can be of service to your family, because, you know, at our basic level, everybody needs to help kids are taking care of their grades, dad doesn't have to worry about school, uh, you know, because the kids are taking care of it, mom's doing well at work, she doesn't have to worry about, you know, like, everybody's just boom together, and, uh, Jocko, Extreme Ownership, buy the book, you'll love it, buy the audiobook, it's even better, um, or listen to the podcast, and the book, <laughs> Yeah, so it's been a good day, and then tomorrow I'm teaching at a leadership um, course for uh, the Chamber of Commerce. It's kind of a junior leadership development class, so that ought to be pretty cool. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> As I when I sat down with Chief Olney this morning, he watched me do the speech. I said, "Well, this is either be the greatest job interview or the quickest <laughs> ending." And uh, he laughed. So it was a good day. I hope you guys had a good day. I hope uh, America has a good day today and an even better tomorrow. <clears throat> Whatever happens, happens. Like it, I don't think it really will affect us too much. I know that everybody's like, oh, you know, everybody freaked out when George Bush won. The first four years weren't too bad. <laughs> so. And even the last four years, he, he was trying. I don't know. You got to give the guy a break. He, it, it's not an easy job. You know, and you got every American questioning everything you do. I don't think you ever have any answer that makes anybody happy. So, um, whoever wins, I think, let's reconcile. Let's come back together as Americans. And, you know, just do the right thing. We need peace, we need happiness, we need people to just relax, and, you know, calm, cool, collected, not perseverance, resiliency, but just, hey, you know what, win or lose, we're all Americans, so we're all winners, right? Yeah. say we're all, I think of, uh, we're all beautiful and unique snowflakes. If you haven't read it yet, read Choke and Fight Club from Chuck Palahniuk, or read anything from Chuck Palahniuk, but you want to just dive into the deep end and, and start off at the beginning. Choke and uh, Fight Club are where it's at. Um, it's a very funny story how he wrote Choke because someone said Fight Club was too dark. And, I, and I'm like, dang, dude, that's dark. But good books. So that's it. Hope you voted. Even if you don't vote, it's still a vote. Because you're saying there's no vote. <laughs> so uh, take it easy, train hard, run an extra lap. And uh, you're allowed one extra Oreo today. Dirty cars. Have a good one. Thanks for listening. Booyah.